Hi there, this is Nadia from The Mole Hole and I wanted to do a quick video today showing you how to do a single crochet ribbing um, and I'm going to attach it to my work as I go. Um, you can do this onto any stitch you want. Um, you just have to remember that it is going to decrease um, larger stitches significantly decrease like the width of of whatever um, you're working into so it is a great one for I'm doing a cuff right now on a cardigan but it can be done pretty much um, at any place you would like um, just remember that that single crochet stitch is quite short so it is going to decrease that space um, that you're going to be working into so um, for, for my um, pattern, I need to chain 10 because I need nine single crochets. So you can chain whatever the pattern calls for or the number of stitches that you want. Um, so you just have to add one chain to however many stitches you want. So I want to have nine, so I'm doing 10 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to work into this um, second chain from the hook. So I'm going to skip that first one from my turning chain and I'll work a single crochet into each chain um, on the way down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so with the work I'm doing right now, um, this was a slip stitch. So here's our first two stitches that I want um, to work into. So I have my first row here. I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to secure it to the garment. Now, I'm gonna also slip stitch into the next stitch to secure it to the garment as part of the, the next row of um, ribbing I'm gonna do. So slip stitch, slip stitch. Now I'll turn the work so that I'm now working, I'm going to be working into the back loops only of these um, first, that first row I did. But I still want to continue having only nine stitches, so I can't work into these slip stitches. I need to skip those. So I'm going to skip one, two slip stitches that secured the ribbing to the garment, and now I'm going to work into the back loop only of this row. So that's one, two, three, back loop only, four, all the way to the top. And I should have still nine stitches. All right, so at the top here, I will chain one and then I'll turn and, and work into um, the back loop only of all of these stitches going down. Get myself organized here, okay. So I've chained one, now I'm gonna go into the back loop only all the way down. And then once I get to the bottom, I will do two more slip stitches into the next two um, stitches at the bottom. It is quite time consuming, but I do think it's worth it. 
Um, just be careful of this very last one. Sometimes it can be easy to miss it. So there it is, back loop only into that very last stitch. I have nine stitches here. Now let's just move my work around so you can see. Um, and also be careful not to see this one is the stitch I've stitched, I've slip stitched into already. So don't accidentally go into the same one. And now I'll slip stitch into this stitch and this stitch. Slip stitch, slip stitch. Now you turn the work again, and then you'll skip those two slip stitches, one, two, and then work in the back loop. And then you repeat that all the way around until you have a beautiful ribbed edging, which I do, I do have one over here. And then I leave a nice tail to then sew, um, sew a seam here, make sure it's on the wrong side. Um, to close my that's closing my cuff but you might not need to to leave a um a tail because depending on what you're working into you might actually not need to do that so i hope that was helpful it's it's a really nice way to finish off um projects for like borders on blankets or the bottom of cardigans or sweaters and um it's great because you don't because you work right into the project instead of making the ribbing and then sewing it on, which I do like better. So hope that was helpful. Um, have a wonderful day.